Hello students, welcome to Crack Grade B online learning platform. Today again in this video, we are going to discuss 25 most important MCQs for economic social issue paper for NAVARD grade A exam. So, I am waiting for a few more minutes. Then we will start the session. So, uh, these questions we have taken from the RBI website and uh, our, our question, all questions are relevant to the NABAD exam. So, top 200 we are going to cover in this series. Already three lectures we have conducted. This is fourth lecture today. So, I am audible. Please comment if I am audible clearly, then we will start the session for today. Am I audible? Please comment if I am audible clearly. So let's start the question. Today's first question. This is the first question. Recently, you may have read in the news that Urban Cooperative Bank. This was in news, and this was news why because RBI has released a circular on this. So it is very important topic for NABAD exam. So RBI constituted an expert committee on our, uh, Urban Cooperative Banks in February 15 on February 15, 2021 under the chairmanship. This committee recommended some changes in the urban cooperative bank criteria related to the uh, supervision and different different criteria with respect to RBI. And uh, some recommendation was adapted, uh, accepted by RBI and based on that a circular was issued. So this committee was constituted by the RBI. So who was the chairman of this committee? Sri N. Visavnathan, N. S. Visavnathan, yes, it is the correct answer. This committee was chaired by the N. S. Visavnathan. So, next question again with respect to the UCB, Urban Cooperative Banks. This committee recommended the four tire structure of the UCB tire 1, tire 2, tire 3, tire 4. So, minimum net worth recommended by this committee for tire 1 UCB. What was the minimum net worth recommended by minimum net worth recommended by this committee for tire 1 UCB. G2 crore. Any other student? So let's see the answer. Minimum net worth of 2 crore for tire 1 UCB operating in a single district and 5 crore for all other UCBs. So 2 crore is the right answer for this question and 5 crore is for all other UCB including tire 2, 3, 4 and the 
UCB which are operating in more than one district. Next question. UCB with deposit more than 10,000 crore are under which category? Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5. Anyone knows the answer? UCB with deposits more than 10,000 crore are under which category? Any guess? Tier 4. Yes. Tier 4 is the right answer. In Tier 1, all unit UCB up to uh, 100 crore, entire 2, 100 to 1000 crore, entire 3, 1000 crore to 10,000 crore and entire 4, UCB with deposit more than 10,000 crore. These are very important questions for your upcoming NABAD exam. Next question, the minimum CRAR required for tier 2, 3 and 4 UCB. The CRAR CR, minimum CRAR. Also tell me the full form of CRAR. Once it was asked in the exam, in RBI phase 1 itself, CRAR full form was asked. And it, they will not directly ask the full form. They will ask like in CRAR, A stands for. Yes, capital to risk weighted asset ratio. The minimum CRR for tier 1, it is 9% and for tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, minimum CR is, RAR is 12% and they have to achieve uh, this uh, by 2026 by 2026 minimum for tire one minimum crar for tire one is nine percent for other it is twelve percent and they have to achieve it by 2026 detail guidelines are available in uh, on our rbi website next question social media is an alternative platform reaching millions of customer indians on average spend about how many hours on social media? This question also we have taken from the RBI website. It is not taken from the newspaper or something, uh, some other website. Only it was discussed by, I think, governor, one of the governor's speech. It is mentioned in one of the governor's speech. Last time in uh, RBI, we have seen that they are... Uh, some questions were directly picked up from the governor's speech. Answer is A. 2.36 hours we are spending daily on social media. So you are wasting your time 2.36 hours from your NAVAD preparation as it is average for all the Indians. And other statistics are given here. And uh, for internet, we are spending daily 7 hours, 20 minutes average. Other these facts, like uh, the most, five most popular social media platform are WhatsApp followed by the Instagram. These stats we have taken from the reference document, which was used in the RBI governor's speech. Pooja Nabar never asked such type of question. Uh, 
you may not be aware about the pattern of the exam because some you can see these type of question like social media and alternative platform means how much average daily uh, how much time average an indian spend on social media this can be asked in general awareness part and such type of questions have already been asked and specifically in general awareness part any type of question can be asked no loan related and service charges inspection charges should be levied on priority sector loan up to no loan related charges service charges any inspection charges should be levied on priority sector loan up to no loan related and service charges inspection charges should be levied on priority sector loan up to c 1 lakh any other student who want to attempt up to 25000 there should not be any service charge inspection charges no loan related ad hoc service charges inspection charges should be levied on priority sector loan up to 25000 in the case of eligible priority sector loan to self help groups joint liability group this limit will be applicable per member not a, as a whole group so these are the important facts we have taken from the rbi website once again next question on lending by nbfc for term lending component under agriculture will be allowed up to what amount per borrower this is also an taken from the priority sector lending priority sector lending as an important topic at least two three question you will see in the paper on lending by nbfc for term lending component under agriculture will be allowed per borrower this is con considered this on lending by nbfc for term lending component under agriculture is considered as priority sector lending so what amount is allowed per borrower it is 10 lakh per borrower and uh, on lending by nbfc under msme category msc categories micro and small enterprises it is 20 lakh per borrower it is 10 lakh for agriculture category and msc micro and small enterprises it is 20 next question is day nrlm is a centrally sponsored scheme and the financing of the program would be shared between center and state in the ratio we are referring the general state here not northeastern and special states uh, northeastern and hilly state we are referring here only the general states sonika d any other student who want to attempt this question yes it is 60 40 it is 60 40 for the uh, general states and uh, 90 ratio 10 in the case of northeastern state and uh, ut's uh, 60 40 not e next question drl dlrc meetings are chaired by again taken from the rbi website and rlm guidelines are also issued by the rbi and uh, this dlrc meeting again taken from the rbi website so you may have heard about the lead bank scheme 
this is taken from the lead bank scheme guidelines dlrc meetings are chaired by what is the full form of dlrc ESI already we are taking class for important MCQs only. In this series, we will cover important MCQs. Next, in next video, we will try to cover the important MCQs from the report section. It is district collector. That is the right answer. Tell me the full form of this DLRC. It is district level review committee and it is meetings are chaired by the dc district collector also tell me that what is the timeline for the meetings for dlrc meeting that last year i think last to last year it was asked in abad phase one itself that this d LRC meetings are held at interval of anyone who want to guess this you can uh, in, the, in detail you can study from the PDF that we will share tomorrow in our telegram channel once in every four, four month is quarterly at least once in a quarter these meetings are being held not in four month once in a quarter means once in a three month the ministry of housing and urban affairs government of india launched the day nulm national urban livelihood mission previously known as nulm by restricting the as is while sona janti sahari rojgar yojana with the fact from the scheme annual was restructured this earlier scheme sovereign janti sahari rozgar yojana was restructured to the nulm in which year kushbu kumari this report and indices always have data but you have to study the selective data in international report india focused data is important and any index if any country is at first rank at last rank and any other component is there these things you have to take care and in our next class we will cover most important mcq the report section c 2013 is the right answer this son jantis sahari rojgar yojana this was launched in 1997 and this was restructured into NULM in 2013. This is right. The women SSG under day NRLM consists of how many members? How many members? options i have mentioned wrong option third option it was 10 to 20 so 10 to 20 members are there earlier it was 10 to 15 rbi have changed the guidelines so 10 to 20 is the right answer there i made mistake 10 to 20 members are there in women ssg 10 to 20 and specifically for difficult areas and groups with disabled person group formed in remote tribal areas the number may be a minimum of five members this is ex exception for this district level review committee yes next question under an rlm in case of cash credit limit the banks are advised to sanction minimum loan of 
what rupees to each eligible SSG for a period of three years with the yearly drawing power. NRLM guidelines are very important. Anyone knows this an answer of this question? Under NRLM, in case of cash credit limit, the banks are advised to sanction a minimum loan of e eligible SSG for a period of three years. Cash credit limit I have referred there. So 6 lakh is the limit and this is the yearly drawing power in first year. It will, it will be 6 times of the existing or, or minimum of 1.5 lakh. In detail you can avoid only this amount you can remember. Or sometimes we, we are not aware about the IPPS. They can ask anything. So you can read once these guidelines. Next question. Under NRLM, which of the following is a not a pancha sutra? It is in with reference to the self-help groups. Those self-help groups which follow the this pancha sutra, they are preferred for lending. They are given preference in lending. Means for loan, they these those SHG which follow pancha sutra, they are preferred. Which of the following is not a Pancha Sutra? Jeet, regular audit. Any other student? Yes, it is right. Regular meetings, regular savings, regular inter internal lending, regular recoveries and maintenance of proper books of account means regular recovery is also timely repayment and maintenance of proper books of account these are the panch sutra guidelines and regular audit is not an option next question under an alarm in order to facilitate facilitate women SHG members to graduate to entrepreneurs bank may consider extending loan up to what amount to individual member of selected, matured, well-performing SSG as per their lending policy? Women SSG member to graduate to entrepreneurs. Banks may consider extending loan up to what amount? This is 10 lakh. 10 lakh is uh, for women. SSG members to graduate and to entrepreneur. This is 10 lakh. Yes. One woman in every SSG under day and may be provided a loan up to 1 lakh under Mudra Yojana. This and under PMJDY 5000 overdraft also can be provided. These are the important facts of the and this NRLM scheme. Under NRLM for loan to SSG up to what limit no collateral, no money, no margin money will be required. No collateral, no collateral and no margin will be obtained. Under NRLM for loan to SSG up to what amount no collateral and no margin will be obtained. We have taken maximum question from NRLM and uh, Priority sector lending guidance because these are the very important circular of RBI. Every year they are asking questions from these circular. 1.6 lakh. No, you are referring Kisan credit card. Jeet, I think 1.6 lakh is for Kisan credit card, not for NRLM. This is limit is 10 lakh up to 10 lakh bank will not ask any collateral and no margin money is required up to 10 to 20 
that will be covered under this credit guarantee fund for micro unit scheme and about 10 to 20 10 percent margin money is required so 10 lakh up to 10 lakh no collateral and no margin money will be obtained under day and rlm up to what amount of the total membership of the ssg may be from among the population marginally above the poverty line subject to the approval of the others member of the group under day and rlm you can see the previous year paper three to four question are being asked from the day and rlm itself Ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent, fifty. Yes, it is thirty percent. Thirty percent member will be from the population marginally above the poverty line. Thirty percent is the right answer. Next question: the maximum amount of revolving fund. I think last year or last to last year, this question was asked. Minimum amount was asked. Minimum amount of revolving fund. So we have asked you maximum amount of maximum limit of revolving fund. Any other student? Yes, it is 15K, 10 to 15K per SSG. The revolving fund will be provided. So 10 to 15, 10 is the minimum limit. 15 is the maximum limit. Limit. Next question in DRDA, A stands for DRDA. You may have studied you know, somewhere in the NRLM guidelines itself in DRDA. Sonika, which questions answer is C, 18th question or 17th you are referring? Jeet Agency, District Rural Development Agency, DRDA, District Rural Development Agency. Let's see the answer. District Rural Development Agency, the DRDA is the principal organ at the district level to manage and oversee the implementation of different anti-poverty means poverty elevation program of the Ministry of Rural Development. Next question, all scheduled commercial banks are required to ensure that within the overall target of for priority sector lending the sub target for the weaker, weaker section for financial year 22-23 is PSL target for the weaker section for year 22-23 this is a separate circular issued by the RBI in that it is it has been mentioned specifically for the EC this year for schedule commercial bank. Eighteen percent. No. Eighteen percent is not for only uh, alone weaker for weaker section, it is not eighteen percent. It is eleven point five percent for twenty two twenty three. In actual it is twelve percent for these commercial banks. And uh, you can see that 11.5% the target is for 22-23. Next year it will be 12%. And uh, total 120 minority districts have been notified by the government. There at least 25% minority population is there. 
excluding the state where minorities are in the majority like jnk punjab meghalaya mizoram nagaland and lakshadweep and the following six communities have been notified as minority communities by the central government sikh muslim christian zoroastrians buddhist and jains so next question under the dri scheme banks provide a finance up to what amount at a concessional rate of interest of 4% per annum to the weaker section of the community for engaging in the productive and gainful activities under dri scheme banks provide finance up to what amount at a concessional rate anyone knows this answer it is 15000 15000 is the right answer for this for uh, to sc st uh, people bank provide 15000 at a concessional rate of 4% differential rate in uh, interest scheme differential rate interest rate interest scheme under the cegssc the amount of guarantee cover under cegssc range from minimum 0.15 crore to a maximum this is also again for minorities what is the amount of guarantee under this scheme maximum to minimum yes it is 0.15 crore to a maximum of 5 crore credit enhancement guarantee scheme for schedule cast the minimum guarantee amount is 0.15 crore to 5 crore other guidelines are there so this uh, this is provided to all those entrepreneurs or the organization which have at least more than 50 sorry more than 50% share holding of the scst sc entrepreneurs sorry not uh, st only for the schedule cast so minimum 51% share holding should be of sc entrepreneurs next question which of the following is a not a type of pslc pslc full form you must know priority sector lending certificate priority sector lending certificate so this is pslc mc msme is not a type of pslc it is pslc agriculture small uh, sorry this small farmers marginal farmers micro enterprise general this we will discuss in detail in this <laughs> in this pdf we will share next question under reserve bank of india scheme this uh, rbi integrated ombudsman scheme for any constitutional law suffered by the complainant the ombudsman shall have the power to provide a compensation up to what amount 1 lakh 5 lakh 10 lakh 20 lakh 50 lakh jit uh, that question's answer was msme msme pslc msme is not a type under reserve bank of india ombudsman shall have the power to provide a compensation up to answer is 20 lakh 20 lakh is the right answer for this 20 lakh and 1 lakh for the loss of complaints time expense and harassment 1 lakh for that that ombudsman can provide next question the complaint aggrieved by an award under the scheme within the how many day, days of the date of receipt of the award or rejection of the complaint prefer an appeal before the appellate authority within how many days the complaint complainant if you are a complainant can appeal for the same within how many days
B 30 days. Yes, 30 days is the right answer. 30 days is the right answer. Further 30 days can be provided, but depends, but depends on the appellate authority if they will provide the extension based on the valid reason or not. Next question. Under RBI integrated ombudsman scheme with the appointment of ombudsman or the deputy ombudsman by the RBI shall be made for a period not exceeding means for how long this can be provided the appointment can be done for how long RBI can appoint their officer as an ombudsman or deputy ombudsman yes it is three year three year is the right answer up to three year uh, an appointment can be made an officer can be appointed as ombudsman or deputy ombudsman last question today's last question under psl bank credit by scheduled commercial bank to housing finance companies approved by nhb for their refinance for own lending for the purpose of construction, the reconstruction of individual dwelling units of slum clearance and rehabilitation of slum dollars subject to an aggregate loan limit of per borrower. Means own lending by and housing finance companies. In PSL, own lending for the purpose of purchase construction of houses bank credit by scheduled commercial bank to housing finance companies for own lending for the purpose of sale or for the purchase construction of house what amount is eligible under psl just tell me anyone it is 20 lakhs per borrower so this is these are today's 25 question the pdf we will share tomorrow in our telegram channel yesterday pdf or this pdf we will share tomorrow in our telegram channel so these 25 question we have covered tomorrow we will try to cover question from the important report section maximum question we will cover tomorrow from the report section means so all 25 question we will cover from the reports and uh, after the that report we will cover the 25 or 50 question from the government scheme section so after that we may go to towards budget economic survey and other important topic we, we will find then we will cover so keep preparing for the exam if you have any doubt all those subscribers uh, who are our paid students you can contact us for any guidance or any doubt if you have and uh, please subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed and uh, share this video with your friends who are preparing these questions will benefit you in real because psl i already told you that priority sector lending national rural livelihood mission these are the very important topic kisan credit card rbi circular of last month specifically july august month are very important last year you can see that in specifically grade b nabad grade b was there so in that uh, esi paper seven to eight questions were directly from the rbi circulars and in grade a also three four questions were directly from this these rbi circulars more than three four i think was there so thank you for joining with us and uh, Tomorrow again we will be live at 9.30. Good night.